This is the Tuesday, May 12th uh, COVID update. Uh, first of all, let's uh, take a look at the numbers. Uh, a week ago, we had 56 confirmed cases. This week, we're up to 68. That's an increase of 12 cases. Last week, we had 10 uh, active cases, um, and now we have 17 for an increase of seven. Last week, we had 44 individuals that had tested positive and then later recovered and uh, four more have joined that group, so we're at a total of 48. And last week we had 1,125 negative tests, and this week we're up to 1,500 negative tests. That's an increase of 375 tests. Um, unfortunately, uh, this last week we saw one more death, that death was associated with uh, another long-term care facility, and uh, this was an assisted living home. And uh, we're very sorry, and our heart goes out to the people that lost a loved one. And um, last week, we had two individuals that were hospitalized, and this week, uh, we only have one that's hospitalized. There were... Um, Two cases that were reported at the assisting living home that we spoke of before. Uh, one did pass away and the other one is uh, recovering. One of the new things that the state is uh, talking about doing and will roll out here in Sheboygan County is to supply testing uh, for nursing homes. They just have to contact uh, Exact Sciences in Madison and they'll ship their order within two days. And once they get those orders, um, those testing kits, uh, they uh, will be testing with the swab, a nasal swab, and they will be testing every resident in the nursing home. And then they're supplying the homes with tests so that all the staff can be tested every two weeks. As you've heard before, many of these uh, uh, long-term care facilities have been kind of hot spots and have outbreaks. We, of course, we had one at Sunny Ridge earlier in the COVID uh, time frame, and this will allow us to really find out if there's any positive people in those facilities and keep any further outbreaks to a, an to a minimum. There were uh, five other active cases uh, in the community. And those active cases either were uh, people that had contact with a positive case, a family member or a friend, and also in community uh, reach. So that uh, takes care of our cases that we had a change in last week. Advocate Aurora and St. Nicholas Hospital will be restarting selective surgeries this week. So they feel that they can uh, get up to about 50% capacity. The state uh, started this week and they will be uh, releasing new numbers. They're going to release information daily, county by county, and they will release the names of long-term care facilities uh, that have one or more positive cases. And they'll also uh, release the names of businesses or manufacturers that report two or more positive cases. Uh, because the state is making this change, we'll also probably see Sheboygan County doing a similar type of uh, release of information, and we'll know a little bit about where those cases uh, are taking place. The Sunny Ridge Nursing Home has completely recovered from the recent outbreak, and they are now accepting new admissions. And I just want to remind everybody to please stay safer at home. And when you're grocery shopping or picking up a takeout order, please wear a mask.